Yeah, Leslie, good morning. Yeah, we are on our way now. Okay. This team is going to Pujeon district. A survey needs to be conducted and this work are normally done in the field. Innovations for poverty action goes the extra mile of going to remote places. Here we are trying to collect the raw data, the rich, high quality data that is going to be used for the research and then for the policy. We've just arrived in this community. The elders are there and we're going to meet them to introduce ourselves. They are actually in charge of the town and you just can't come in. It's diplomacy and I respect. <laughs> This is our field team. They are kind of the backbone in the research. This is the ID 151. Because without good data, we're not gonna get any good results. It's an RCT. It's a randomized control trial. Randomization is done. We are in this set of respondents are finally distributed to treatment and control. What is important there, these people have the same characteristic. We've done a baseline survey, and after the baseline, an implementation was done, we know whether the program had an impact by comparing the communities where we did at the program versus where nothing happened. We are heading out now to find one of our respondents in this community, what we normally call tracking. We have the household description, the age of the girl. We go back, verify the age, but also ask for ID card. This is the third time we are going to interview these girls. This is a panel data. We want to know what has happened since that last time. Did these girls gain out of this project that was implemented in their community? Now, as you can see, we have an enumerator who's conducting a survey right now. Okay, let me do a zoom out. This is one respondent, but for the same study, we're trying to track 3,550 respondents across 200 villages. That's just one study. At IPA, we are in 21 country offices across the world with research projects impacting policy now. There's a lot of rigor required. Our enumerators know when it's a wrong measurement, when to probe, when to cross-check, when to stop. And what we learn is then fed back uh, to the policymakers, who then can use actual rigorous evidence uh, to know exactly the, the millions and trillions of you know dollars of money uh, that they want to really spend on is spent on the right intervention. Enumerators have enormous skills. After so many years, they've been able to develop what means right data collection. And when I say right data collection, they know the quality that we require. It's not just collecting data, it's going beyond that. They need to have grit, they need to have perseverance, and they definitely need to not give up. Sierra Leone is a developing country, and doing this kind of research work helps. The better evidence we get, then we see the real world outcomes. and. I think with this evidence, things can really be better and we can really get the needs of the people, what the, the people actually need. 